Hi folks! This video is about the new Cricut Maker engraving tool. So we're going to be starting in Design Space to recreate this project for engraving with my new Cricut Maker engraving tool. So the first thing you want to do, and I've made a habit of always doing this, is go to the top right of your screen and assure that you've selected the Cricut Maker as the machine you're working with. So let's go ahead and recreate this. I'm going to go to shapes and take a square. Let's turn it white. So this square is only going to serve as a template for me. I know that my acrylic is five by seven, so I'm going to size this accordingly. And I'm going to use it as a template so that I can center and attach my design. I will not be using this square when I go to engrave. I will be hiding it in my layers panel. So let's go to images. I'm going to go search for draw because I want single line images. Of course, you can take any image that you want to and convert it so that you can engrave it. Let's find that butterfly. I really like it. There it is. We'll take that butterfly. And you'll notice that I've lined my template up so that it's right on an inch measurement. I'm going to take this down in size and put it around one inch in from the right side. We'll go back to images. I'm going to stay in draw and search for the flower that I like. I hope I can find it again. I'm not finding it again, so I'm just going to go to my layers panel and duplicate this one because I really like this one. I want to use it. Let's move the butterfly up and we'll go stretch it out a little. So this is, as you can see, not extending over this one inch mark and not extending over this one inch mark on the right side either. I'm going to add text. So I'm going to be using Dear John. I like that font. Shrink it down and we'll move it up. I think I'll add dot, dot, dot. Okay. So we can see I have approximately a half inch at the top, maybe three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. Try to space it accurately. We'll go to our line type on the top left and take and change the text to engrave. Go to my butterfly again, change to engrave. And go to my flower and change to engrave. So you can see now in my layers panel that I have all three set to engrave. I'm going to hide this white square, select all three together, right click and attach. I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to hide it. We'll go to make it. When I place my acrylic on my mat, I'm going to place it one inch down 
and one inch in from the left side. So I'm going to work with those parameters to center up where I want my cut to be. So I'll put it around here. Looks like that might be pretty well centered. That looks good. So we can see the seven across and five down. And that looks pretty much centered in the middle of it. That looks good. I'm going to click continue. I'll choose my Cricut Maker. We'll go to Browse All Materials. And as you can see, compatible at the top, I'm going to look for acrylic. I'm using a thin acrylic. I believe it's 1.25 millimeter. And click Done. You can see that I will need my engraving tool. So we're going to go to the next step and see how this is done. So we're ready to engrave our project. I've attached my acrylic to a strong grip mat with painter's tape in the same way that we do with the chipboard. Because acrylic is not flexible, we don't want it to lift off the mat while it's engraving. You cannot cut it with your maker. You'll damage your blade and you'll damage your machine. So you want to use pre-cut sizes and we'll go ahead and load our engraving blade. It's very sharp. It's number 41 in the tools. We'll load that into our machine. I wanted to mention that I also have a, a soft brush on hand. When I've engraved other acrylic, trying out my engraving tool, I found that the shavings tend to cling on the rollers. I guess they and become static as they're shaving off of the acrylic and they cling on the rollers. So rather than have them clog anything up, I brush them occasionally to make sure everything stays nice and clean. So let's go ahead and load our project and start engraving. From time to time, you're going to see your engraving tool lift and spin. This is perfectly normal. It's programmed this way to avoid wear and tear on your engraving tool. This project took approximately seven to eight minutes to complete engraving, so I'm going to speed up this portion of the video.
And there we go. Our engraving is done. I'm going to clean this up. You, of course, want to remove any little bits that have lifted or shaved off during the engraving. It turned out terrific. Okay, so let's see if I can give you a better look at this. It's not showing up very well on the mat for the camera. I hope you can see this. I'll photograph it with a background so that you can see it much better. But the way that I did it turned out perfect. It's centered and I love it. I wish you could see it better. But you'll see it better in the photograph. So here's a better look at the engraving on this project. I hope you're going to have lots of fun with your new Cricut Maker engraving tool. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching.